I am told this morning that a decision, because some of the teachers quite naturally, quite rightly, quite properly, had some reluctance to return unless they were given those assurances. So I have been advised that a decision has been taken that classes will resume come Wednesday. Another assurance from the National Security Minister to the students and staff of the Rose Hill RC Primary School. Last Thursday, Minister Hines visited the school where he made a similar promise. However, after posting this to social media to say the video was quite misleading, Minister Hines was criticized when he felt his statement was insensitive. On Monday, almost one week after the incident, Minister Hines returned to the school. He says staff are still afraid to return to the compound, but notes that police and the defense force will now be collaborating to bring comfort to the school's population. On their advice, they are the technical experts. They looked at the problem that occurred in the school and the surrounding communities, and they have worked out some solutions to the problem. Heinz was accompanied by Acting Commissioner of Police, McDonald Jacob. Because of the situation that, uh, that occurred and the, the incidents of violent crime, we have decided to divide up this area into that one zone into two, meaning to say it will be a smaller geographical area. will ensure that we can, in fact, increase our presence within the area. He adds the Defense Force will be doing various types of patrols. There are also foot patrols. It's not just mobile, it's not just static. There will be foot patrols, and in most of the teams, there will be two police and two Defense Force personnel on foot patrolling in the area. The acting commissioner says the investigation continues into the shooting incident. Kijan Haines, CNC3 News.